All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakwadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and others at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to all you. I came out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara. Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and, and uh, edify the sheep. All right, and all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. Yahweh is the correct name of our Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the correct name of our Lord and Savior, the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, those are the names to call upon in these perilous times that we're coming into to be delivered and to be saved. All right. So you see the title. All right. The value of information. OK. The pricelessness of uh information okay information is priceless all right information is very valuable okay all right you can't put a price on information all right even though you do have the wicked all right esau edom starting with the uh uh so like the yeah, so-called white man woman and child starting with the elite banking families are right, the wicked the rulers of the world that we live in today all right they do you know try to profit in many ways off of information okay they also hide information from you OK, so, for example, all right, you go to uh, uh, um, a lawyer. All right. For what? To to get legal information. All right. Legal advice. All right. You pay a lawyer to give it for, for them to give you information or instructions on how to proceed in a legal matter. OK. You see, so that's just one example. All right. Also, you have, you know, you know, people in the world. All right. You know, you run across a person that has, you know, information. They're very informative of, you know, certain things that are going on in the world. All right. Or certain topics of the world. Right. And, you know, what do they call them? They call them woke. All right. And that word woke comes from the uh, word awake or awaken. All right. Which means to be made alive. OK. But it all starts with information. OK. So information is very valuable. OK. So we're going to go into the definition of information. All right. Read into it and take it from there. And Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the feast, the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh All right. So we're in the etymology dictionary right now. And let's go into that word information. All right. The word information, a noun. OK, this says uh, the act of informing. All right. Communication of news. See. All right. You can only communicate news to you know a, a, a mass majority of people okay if you have the information if you know something that they don't know right it says advice instruction and that's what i really want to focus on instruction okay so one of the definitions of information is instruction okay to be instructed all right is to be given information all right you see so <clears throat> Let's uh let's uh, go into uh the book of Ezekiel, okay? The book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-seven, all right, and we'll read verse one and two, and it reads, uh, "The hand of the Lord Yahweh was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones." Okay. All right. Now, was it full? Was it filled with actual bones like dead bones? No. All right. It was filled with people. OK. You see a valley of people. All right. You see. Verse two, it says, and caused me to pass them round about. All right. Walk around them. Right. It says, and behold, there were very many in the open valley. OK. Very many what people. All right. And lo, they were very dry. OK, now, why were these people? Why are these people being uh, um, uh, compared to being dry? OK. All right. Well, let's break that down. All right. Because the example that I want to use is. Uh, plants. OK. All right. Because even in the scriptures, all right, man, all right, many nations of people. All right are described as being trees or plants or vines right you see uh so so like i'm trying to look for that uh 
question I initially asked. Yep, right here. You see? So the, so the question I asked in Google is what causes a plant or what causes plants to dry out or dry up? Okay. And I want to go right here. All right. Why is what's well, a lucky? Why is my plant? What makes plants dry up? Okay. What makes plants dry up? I was, I'm, I'm just going to read the, uh, the sentence where the uh, highlighted things are right here. Okay. It says the most common causes include, all right, for a, a plant to dry up is overwatering. All right. Like having an over at excess of water, right? It says less watering, all right? Not having enough water, all right? Or inadequate sunlight, okay? All right, which we know through the spirit, all right? The sun is who? Yahweh Shai, you see? It says, uh, and last but not least, all right, pests and bugs, okay? Which are, which are, which are really the things of the world, man, okay? You know? Remember, we, we are spiritual people, man. OK, so we look at everything spiritually, you see, and those pests and bugs all right, would represent, you know, the ways and the uh, filth and philosophies. All right. And false gods all right, false God worshiping of this world, man. All right. So you see. So you see what it says. All right. There's another thing that I wanted to go into. Mm, after watering. Let's see. Uh, how do I? How do I? It's like how do you hydrate plants? Okay, using a watering wand. All right, drip uh, irrigation or a soaker hose. Okay, to water the right. Okay, but pretty much, you know, uh, um, you know, speaking of uh, people being compared to plants. All right, and plants drying out. Okay, a plant that is dry. All right, is a symbol. Or a sign of the plant dying, okay? You see, like right here, okay? That plant is dying, okay? So we, so when you read inside of Ezekiel thirty-seven, all right, these people being being a, a compared to being dry or called the Valley of the Dry Bones, all right? They're alive, they're breathing, okay? They're walking around, you see, but they're dry bones. Why? Because uh, uh, um, they're spiritually dead. Okay. All right. And they need water. You see. All right. So where does that water come from? Let's get the scriptures, man. All right. Where does that water come from? Ultimately. Okay. Let's get the, uh, the book of St. John. So like you. let's get the book of, uh, where is so like if my eyes don't work. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Book of St. John, chapter 7. All right, and we'll go down to verse 38. Okay. All right. And it reads, and it's in red letter too. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, he that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. Okay. All right. And the scripture, the Bible, okay, is, is what? Filled with information. You see? All right. But not everybody can pick up the Bible and understand the information that is written down. Right. Only only those that were blessed and gifted with faith. All right. And knowledge, wisdom and understanding. OK. Which is that water. OK. But continuing on, it says uh, he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. See water. That's the water, man. OK. All right. Life. All right. Replenishing. OK. When you give a dead plant or a plant that is dying. OK. Anything that is dry, when you give it water, it, it refreshes it. OK. It replenishes it. You see. And let me go into that word uh, replenish. OK. So like you. Replenish. All right. What does it mean? So like you. What does it mean to replenish? OK, it says to fill something up again. OK, to fill something up again. See, <laughs> all right. Just like us. All right. We were a part of the Valley of the Dry Bones. All right. Not having that living water, that knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Right. Before coming into this truth. All right. But we've been made alive. You see, with that water, that knowledge, wisdom and understanding. OK, coming from Yahweh Shai. OK, we've been filled up again. You see. All right. The uh, second definition is to restore a stock or supply, right, to form 
it's like it to a former level or condition you see all right because we have to uh, uh the scripture says look look towards the uh the uh, ancient men all right or the old paths the old ways you see all right we're trying to get back to something ultimately all right and what is that we're trying to get back to uh, uh um the form that adam was originally in all right before he fell you see all right being gods again okay being one with the lord all right you see and this is the path that we have to take but it starts with that information okay all right so that's what that water does okay to 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 uh dry you know anything that is dry especially uh dry bones or dry people okay he that believeth on me as the scripture have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water okay let's go back okay let's go back what's the lock here? let me get this all right because we mentioned uh a replenishing goes into being restored right so let's go to uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 17, all right? And it reads right at the top there, okay? And it reads, for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. See? Saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, because they have... It's like because they called thee an outcast. Who? The, these other nations. Okay. All right. They watched the Israelites, you know, the, the, the chosen people of God fall. All right. From, from their, from their uh, uh, higher state. Okay. And we're at the bottom now, man. Okay. All right. And they called us outcast. Okay. Saying this is, this is Zion. Okay. Which represents Israel or Jerusalem. You see, which is a people before it's a place. Okay, it says, whom no man seeketh after. Yeah, nobody's coming to us, uh, um, you know, trying to get information, valuable information. All right. But that's why the Lord raised up his men. Okay. In the, t in, in the uh, last days, which is the time that we're living in now. All right. And gave us, <clears throat> and gave us what? That information to give to our people. Okay. <clears throat> Let me also get... Uh, so lucky. let me also get the book of Acts. All right, chapter three. And we'll start at verse, I mean, we'll read verse 19. Okay, at the top there, okay. It says, repent, therefore, and be and be converted. See, all right. To, to uh, repent is to, be, is to be brought back, okay. Which goes into that definition of replenish, okay. You see? To be filled back up you see it says to be converted that your sins may be blotted out okay all right <clears throat> that's turning from that old man those old ways okay the the the, the ways of the world which is ultimately the, the uh, ways of the heathen okay it says when the times of, ref of refreshing shall come from the presence of the lord yahweh shai okay all right, because ultimately when Yahweh Shire returns, okay, we're going to be the elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that number, okay, is going to be given new bodies, okay, you see, all right, we're going to be, we're going to be uh, uh, um, refreshed, okay, made anew, all right, so let me go back to uh, Ezekiel chapter 37 and three, read verse three and four, okay, and, and it reads, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? Okay. The Lord was speaking to Ezekiel, right? It says, and I answer, O Lord, Yahweh power. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Thou knowest. Okay. He said, hey, look, Lord, you, you know, I don't know. You know, verse four, it says again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones. Okay. So, so prophesy unto these people. Okay. To prophesy means to give them the information. Okay. Or instruction as we read in the definition right definition of the word information one of the definitions is advice and instruction okay you see because because these people you know jake think that they're out here living okay two-thirds of the nation of israel they think that they're out here living surviving right you see but they're really not okay and we're giving them 
you know, we, uh, uh, we've been, you know, instructed to go out and give them the information and instruction, all right, to live again. Okay, just like we've been given the information and the instruction from other men, all right, that came before us in this truth, okay, on how to live again, you see? And through that information, we were what? Made alive, okay? Refreshed, replenished, okay? You see? So let me get uh, some scriptures, some precepts, okay? So the first precept is the book of Isaiah chapter 58 <clears throat> and bro should know this one verse 1 it says cry aloud spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression see all right because our people over the years and over decades all right our people you know you know in uh, captivity under this devil okay have have been given the wrong information okay Hell, in all captivities, we've been under these heathen nations, okay? Our people have been given uh, the wrong information, false information, okay? But the Lord gave us the uh, the, the uh, pure information, okay? The right information, healthy information, all right? And he commanded us to go out and, and, and you know, go tell our people, all right, the correct information and the, and the uh, correct information instructions to give them okay you see it says so we're going out and we're telling you like hey look what you're doing is wrong okay you shouldn't be doing that you should be doing this and this is how you do it okay this this is who said to do it which is your god okay and this is how he told you and this is how he told us to do it you see it says in the house of jacob their sins all right also want to get uh the book of amos chapter 3 and verse seven. Okay, I'll put it at the top there. Okay, it says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh power, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay. What is that secret? That secret is information. Okay. All right, let's read in the NLT. Indeed, the sovereign Lord, Yahweh, all right, never does anything until he reveals his plans, all right, his plans to his servants, the prophets. Okay. His secrets, his plans, that's information. You see? Hey, look, 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 look. Let me sit y'all down. Y'all gather over here. Let me talk to you. Let me rap with you, right? And let me tell you what I plan on doing. This is and and, and how I plan on doing it, when I plan on doing it, and why I'm planning on doing it. And hell, what I'm planning on doing afterwards. You see? That's information. All right. That's information. Okay. Now let's go back into that word information. Okay. Outline, concept, idea. Okay. All right. It says uh, to train, instruct, educate. You see? Educate. And that's what we're doing, man. Okay. We're educating our people, man. All right. It says shape. Look, to give form to. Okay. Because most of our people are right, two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right. Are out of shape. OK. Out of order and out of shape. OK. Mentally, spiritually and in most cases, even physically. OK. All right. When you look at uh, 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 um, someone that is, you know, obese. Right. And, you know, you know, you know, giving a carnal example, when you look at somebody that's obese or, or fat. Right. And you go up to him, you tell him, hey, dude, you're fat. You need to lose weight. You see that that that's just criticism. OK, what we give our people is constructive criticism. You see, for example, going back to the carnal example. All right. You go up to a guy or, or a gal that's uh, obese or overweight. You come up to him and you say, hey, look, you're fat. OK, you need to lose some weight. Here's how you can do it. You see. Here's how you can do it. All right. Exercise, change your diet, eat better. OK. All right. Change, you know, even mentally, you know, mental health change, you know, uh, switch up the things that you're, you know, intaking or that you're listening to or that you're watching. OK. Watch something more inspirational. All right. More peaceful. You see, that's constructive criticism. OK. But it starts with information. You see that. All right. 
to give form to. OK, and that's what you do when you give someone uh, uh, um, holy or pure information. All right. So let's go back to the book of Ezekiel. <clears throat> All right. And we'll read verse five. OK, book of Ezekiel 37 and five. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power. All right. Unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath. See, I will cause breath to enter into them. So I can, so I can enter into you and you shall. So like and ye shall live. You see, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. OK. All right. Because the Lord grants life. All right. And death. OK. And just to prove that. Let me see. Just to prove that. All right. Let's go to uh, the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 32. All right. And verse 39. OK. Verse 39. All right. And it reads. So see now that I, even I, am he. All right. And there is no God with me. This is this is talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. OK. I kill and I make alive. OK. I kill and I make alive. OK. Now we know <clears throat> we understand. All right. Through uh, uh, um, the uh, the revealing of the scriptures. All right. And what the scripture says that, you know, uh, the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right, has passed that judgment, you know, of the world, the heavens and, and the, uh, the, the uh, world. All right. And the people in it, he's passed that judgment to his son, Yahweh Shai. OK, so Yahweh Shai has power to give life or death. You see. All right. But 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 we, we don't have that power. OK, nobody walking the earth, you know, oh, I, 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 you know, did this and that. You know, I, I took that dude out. No, the Lord took that guy out, you see, or that gal out, you see. It says, I wound. So like I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see? All right. So the Lord all right, controls the uh, 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 or grants life or death. You see? All right. Now we have our duty. Right. We have our duty. All right. Let me go here. First Corinthians. Uh, chapter three. And we'll read verse six and seven. Okay. At the top there. All right. And it reads, I have planted Apollo's water, but the heavenly father, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, gave the increase. See? All right. So let's read in the NLT. It says, I plant the seed in your hearts. All right. In your heart. That word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind. Okay. Your brain. All right. So so when we're out there on the highways and hedges or even doing these digital epistles. OK, you come across it, you play it, you listen to it. OK, we break it down to you. OK, that's us sowing the seed of faith. Right. You see, but we can't ultimately give you faith, you see, because faith is the beginning of life. OK, you see, well, Salakia, the fear of the Lord all right, is the beginning of all wisdom. OK, you see. So you can't get wisdom. All right. You can't understand the information that's being given to you by the prophets and the men of the Lord unless the Lord gives you that. OK, you see, because if you have faith, then you will fear. And if you fear, then you'll get wisdom. See, you will understand the information. All right. So I have planted Apollo, Apollo's water, but the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, gave the increase. All right. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth. OK, you see, but the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that giveth the increase. OK. All right. So they grant life. OK. Life or death. All right. We have we have our job, which is to go out and just inform you and warn you and tell you and give you and try to give you the information. But we can't make you understand it. We can't make you accept it. OK. Only the Lord can do that. All right. <clears throat> but watch out for false information. That's another point I want to make. Watch out for false information. OK, for you new brothers and sisters coming into this faith. All right. You thinking that everybody's an Israelite. Oh, well, all these guys are, you know, they all know that, know that they're Israelites. OK, but guess what? You have you have false prophets out here. All right. The, the scriptures speak about false prophets. All right. Men that are false teachers. 
okay which means that they're giving you false information you see all right they're coming in you know coming under the banner of being an israelite they look like an israelite they dress like an israelite okay they go out on the highways and hedges and preach and teach like an israelite right but but the information that they're giving you is false information that's what makes them a false prophet all right so let's go to second timothy Salakia, so like Second Timothy, chapter three, and verse thirteen and fourteen. All right, and it reads, "But evil men, all right, and seducers shall wax worse and worse. All right, deceiving and being deceived. That's them giving you that false information, okay? Because they've been given false information. That's why it says, a uh, uh, being deceived, right? They've been given false information which they believed." And now they're giving that false information to you or trying to give it to you. OK, but beware of these false prophets. OK, giving you false information. OK, the Lord has sent uh, uh, um, um, prophets out here. All right. With the correct information. All right. Like like 100 percent truth. OK, everything that we need to know on this side in order to uh, uh, um, get salvation, man, you know, make it to the kingdom. All right. You see, but watch out for these guys that have the false information. OK, verse 14, it says, but continue in thou. It's like, but, but continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of. See. All right. But 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 keep the information that you have been given. All right. And that you and that you believe, you see, that you have actually tested through studying. All right. Yeah, those guys said that, you know, uh, uh, the, the Heavenly Father only, you know, loves his people, the Israelites. Let me do some studying to see if that's true. Oh, that is true. According to my studies, that is true. You see? Well, that's the, well, the God only loves his people. Boom. You see? So it said, the Lord said, continue in that. All right. Don't change your mind up. All right. It says, knowing of whom thou has learned them see all right so now let's go back to the book of ezekiel all right chapter 37 and let's now let's read five and six all right thus saith the lord yahweh power all right unto these bones behold i will cause breath to enter into you and ye, and ye shall live right because we because we have to be uh, uh um replenished first right in order to go out and and and, and uh try and uh replenish the elect of the nation of israel right verse six it says and i will lay sinews upon you all right and i will bring and i will bring up flesh upon you all right make us whole and healthy again right just like a plant all right when a plant is withering all right it's dry it's drying out it, it, it you know it, it's about to die but then you water it right you give it the proper sunlight okay what happens it replenishes okay all right it fills back up again all right it says um and cover you with skin and put breath in you see put breath in you all right so only the lord can give the increase all right which is to which to give you that breath of life okay it says and ye shall live see and ye shall know that i am the lord yahweh you see all right why because you you're going to believe okay you're going to have faith all right so let me see but most all right most and, and, and i'm speaking about two-thirds of our own people the nation of israel okay most of our people will reject this information okay most of our people will reject this information all right now to prove that let's also go to the book of ezekiel all right chapter 33 all right and we'll start at verse 31 all right and it reads i'll put it at the top here all right and it reads and they come unto unto thee all right talking about the israelites okay when uh, we're on the highways and hedges or even these digital epistles, okay, they, they come up to the camp or either they come on the common board, right? They come unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people, right? And they hear thy words, but they will do them. It's so like, but they will not do them. Excuse me. For, for with their mouth do they show much love, but their heart, all right, their mind, 
goeth after their covetousness. Okay, so let's read that in the NLT right next to it. Okay, so my people come. It's like so my people come pretending to be sincere and sit before you. Right? Yeah, brothers, I see y'all. See y'all, black men, black, black men, which were not black. Right? But that's how Jake comes up. Right? You know, they love to see that, you know, because they're looking at it carnally. It says they listen to your words, but they have no intention of doing what you say. See, they don't want to do it. They're going to reject it. See, they're going to reject the information. All right. It says their mouths are full of lustful words and their hearts seek seek only after money. OK, so let's go to verse 32. All right. In the, in the KJV, it says, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. See, let's read that in the NLT. You are very, it's like you are very entertaining to them. See, we're very entertaining to them. Oh, man, you know, see. That's why most people, that's why, you know, it, look, if you're in this, if you're in the right spirit, man, all right, m people in the world, you don't, you, you, you don't want to have conversations with these people. OK, it, it is a pointless, blank, a uh, 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 vain conversation, man. OK. All right. Because most of these people, man, if you say something to them that has information in it, OK, which most likely you will, it's just going to go in one ear and out the other. Oh, it sounds good. They're, they're, they're not going to understand you and they're not going to want to understand you. OK, continuing on, it says. Uh, someone who sings uh, love songs with a beautiful voice or plays fine music on an instrument, they hear what you say, but they do it's like it, but they don't act on it. See. All right. KJV verse 33, it says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among you. See? All right. So this information that we're giving them, okay, these warnings, all right. Hey, look, which the Lord is coming back and he's coming back to judge terribly. Okay. All right. Now, what I want to let you know is that you are in danger of judgment. All right. That 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 terrible judgment from from the Lord when he returns. But this is what you can do. You can save your you can save your life by doing these things, by 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 uh, um, uh, uh, um, listening to these instructions. OK, and not just listening to these instructions that the, that that uh, the Lord gave us to do. All right. But actually putting it into action. OK, scripture says what faith without works is dead. All right. So that's a part of the information. That's why this that's why this information is the most valuable information of our time. OK. All right. You see. But most is going to reject this information. But why are they going to reject the information? All right. And this will be the last scripture here and we'll, and we'll close it out. All right. The book of Romans, chapter 11. All right. Chapter 11. And let's read verse seven. OK. And it reads, what then? Israel, all right, you so-called you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, okay? You Israelites, says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, okay? You see? Because Jake, cause, you know, Jake, Jake seeketh for instructions from a God, you see? That's why they go into the churches, you know, and, and call themselves Christians. That's why they go into the uh, the mosque. OK, and call themselves Muslims and, all, you know, and all these other different religions because they seek instruction from a God. OK, hell, you even have our people today uh, uh, um, calling themselves gods. OK, or calling another man God. All right. And following his instructions. See, our people seek for that. They seek for the right instructions on how to live a, 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 a holy in a whole life okay pure life okay but not realizing that 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 uh information all right the correct information the correct instructions are coming from the men of the lord on the highways and hedges you see who they look down upon who they don't want to who, who they don't want to listen to okay how can you niggas have out of all the information in the world and and all the instructions in the world you mean to tell me you niggas got the right information yes we do okay we do
Yes. Okay. But just like the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. Okay. All right. Only, only the Lord's hopeful elect. Okay. Is going to hear the, the instructions coming from his men and are going to abhor to it. Okay. You see? So like it, all right, and, you know, go, going to listen to it, okay? All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you know, and that's it. That's it, you know. And hey, you know, Lord willing, this edif this uh, lesson was edifying to the body and the faith, the sheep, to the spirit, and power of Yahweh Shai. All right, Shalom and a Baba Ball.